within the last 24 hours, Nintendo actually made it a crazy announcement announcing that all of the online services for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U will officially be ending in early April of 2024. So in this video, we're going to quickly break it down and what this means for everybody that owns a 3DS or a Wii U, whether you guys need to do anything before April or what exactly is going to be ending and the, the major games that are going to be affected by this. So another thing is, I don't, before I get into this, I'm not going to really have too much on screen. I'm just going to be going through like the, the blog that they posted about this. So if you guys want to tab out and just listen to me talk, I'll probably throw some gameplay in the background for you guys. Uh, I don't know why nobody's talking about this either. I don't see anybody making videos about this. And I don't see anybody talking about this at all. So this is, this is a major thing, especially for somebody. I actually have a 3DS. I, I had a, a DSi, which also got discontinued. I think they did the same thing with like the DSi and the regular DS. I think it was back in 2016. Really angry about that because it pretty much ruined a lot of those games that needed online to actually be relevant. And uh, they're doing it again. Uh, I guess the only upside of this is actually it's pretty much indirectly confirming that there's going to be a new Switch console. If they're going to be discontinuing the online for the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U, they're going to be announcing a new Nintendo Switch console, the Switch 2 or whatever, very shortly within probably the next, I don't know, at least probably next six months, we're going to get some type of announcement. That's kind of what this also really did. So, kind of ironic though, uh, Nintendo pretty much forcing people and phasing out the old platforms so people are kind of forced to buy the new stuff and i guarantee you it'll probably be the same way with the nintendo switch probably three or four years from now which is usually how it goes which is really sad but that's just what nintendo does and why one of the major things i hate about nintendo but uh they put out a blog kind of talking about this uh, i'm gonna read through the blog for you guys real quick um we're gonna get right into this in early april 2024 i'll throw it on screen for you guys right now Online play and other functionality that uses online communication will end for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software. This also includes online cooperative play, internet rankings, and data distrib distribution. You can find more about badges, whatever. We will announce a specific end date and time at a later date. But right now it's for early April, so sometime in April at the very least. Please note that if an event occurs that would make it difficult to continue online services for the 3DS and Wii U, we may have to discontinue the service even earlier than planned. Hopefully not. We sincerely thank players for using online services for the 3DS and Wii U software over a long period of time and apologize for any inconvenience. That is all they give us, y'all. That is all they give us. A little sorry pat on the back. Okay, we're going to be releasing a new Switch console this next year. Give us all your money. Because we're forcing you to buy it now. We're shutting down all the Wi-Fi for the old 3DS and the Wii U. Scumbags. These are the same people as well. Before somebody goes into the comments down below and has Nintendo's back. These are the same people that are charging to play online for the Nintendo Switch. $20 for 12 months. If they cannot afford to keep these servers on for the 3DS and the Wii U after making over at least just just going off basically basing it off of how many consoles they sold for nintendo switches which is at least like 10 million they've sold at least 10 million consoles for the nintendo switch and you consider 20 dollars times times 10 million uh that's that's at least like 200 million dollars at the very least per year just they're making just based off of online subscriptions so if they do not have enough money to keep servers for the 3ds and the wii u which should not cost very much at all to maintain and there's a huge problem. And the main reason why they're shutting them down is just greed. It, they did the same thing with the Nintendo 3D or the uh, the DSi and the DS. I think it was back in 2015 or 2016. Completely ruined the Pokemon Gen 5 games and a bunch of other great games that used online features for those consoles. Made that irrelevant. I know we got a few more things here. We got a few Q and A's, and I'm gonna kind of just go off on a rant to kind of talk about some other stuff and kind of what major games this really affects. Q and A: Will I still be able to play offline even after the services end? Yes, you can. You can. Yes, you will. Players will be still be able to use features and game modes that do not require online communication, which is a no-brainer. Kind of common sense. Will any online services still be available even after online services? 
it will still be possible to use online services for the following software, but they also may end at some point in the future. So that's great to know. Pokemon Bank and Poke Transporter. So even though the online services are actually going to be ending on the 3DS, you will still be able to access Pokemon Bank and Poke Transporter to transfer all your mods and store all your mods uh, from all the games that are going to be getting affected, which is going to be X and Y, which is Gen 6, uh, Gen 7, which is Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Moon. And uh, I don't think there's any other like major... There might be a few other like spin-off games actually on the, the 3DS now that I think about it. I think there's some Mystery Dungeon games as well. I don't know if those actually have Wi-Fi on them, though, and, and like communication that way. But I know there are some other like spin-off games and like non-main series Pokemon games also on the 3DS. There's also Smash Bros. for 3DS, which is going to be getting affected by this, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, a lot of like more indie games, even like games that aren't really even Nintendo related, are also going to be getting affected by this that have online features. So keep that in mind as well. But you will still be able to ask, at least for the time being, there is no possible date, at least yet, where they're going to discontinue the Pokemon Bank or Poke Transporter, even after the online services end. So keep that in mind as well going into this. Um, are you able? Are you also ending online services for software from publishers other than Nintendo? With some exceptions, online services will end for all 3DS and Wii U software. That's why I just said. Even like a lot of the indie games that have like some type of online features, online play, multiplayer, whatever it is, they're also going to be getting discontinued, which is really bad. Because there's a lot of like other games that that use like the online features for that system, especially for the Wii U. Please contact publishers for information about the online services for their software. Well, you just told it to us pretty much right there. So why wouldn't we need to contact them when we know it's going to be getting shut down? Will it still be possible to download, update data, or purchase software? This is another huge one. For the foreseeable future, it will still be possible to download, update data, and re-download, purchase software, and downloadable content from the eShop. So this is the main thing. This is what's going to be able to be downloaded. Updates that require you for like to play your game. Because I know like a lot of the Pokemon games, when you download them for the first time out of the eShop, or like even like a with like an actual like physical copy of the game, you got to download an update to actually play the game with a bunch of bug fixes and stuff. That's still going to be downloadable, that type of thing. Same with anything that, that you actually already previously purchased from the eShop. You will be able to download all that. But anything, you you will not be able to buy, buy like any new stuff or that type of thing. And there will be no new games or anything coming to the, the 3DS or the Wii U eShop. So keep that in mind as well going into this. When online services end, will Street Pass and Spot Pass no longer be available either? Um, Street Pass uses a local communication, but Spot Pass will actually no longer have features that work. So I don't know how many people actually use Street Pass and Spot Pass, but Street Pass will still work in like a, uh, a local communication setting, but Spot Pass will no longer work, which kind of sucks. So apart from that, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, some of the major games that are going to be getting affected by this are Pokemon X and Y, which is Gen 6. Uh, these games all have online battling, they all have Wonder Trade, and they all have uh, GTS, and I think a few other things that require online. So those are going to be getting affected, along with also Pokemon Sun and Moon, and then their successors, their, I guess, like second games, uh, Ultra Sun and Moon. All these games have online battling. Um, some type of wonder trade or GTS and a few other things trading, whatever it may be. So that, that all be coming to an end. Uh, at least for me, like I have all those games. I have, I think I have Pokemon Y. I think I have Pokemon X. I have both of those games. No longer going to be able to do, use those games, any Wi-Fi or anything Wi-Fi related for those games after this is done in about six, seven months from now. And uh, same with Ultra Sun and Moon. I have Sun and Moon. I have Ultra Sun and Moon. I have all four of those games. Unfortunately, every single profile I have on those games, I have a shit ton of competitive mods and that type of thing. I'll no longer be able to use like Wi-Fi to trade trade stuff between both of my games, which is going to be a huge problem and a problem for a lot of the other people because the people like to use to do that. So, especially if you don't have anybody that else has the game like you that you can't trade and like trade stuff with locally 
So you, have, you can kind of just trade between games with like the GTS and that type of thing, or if you have like two different 3DS consoles, kind of a major thing. Uh, I'm not sure what major titles for the Wii U are going to be getting affected by this, because you guys are up there with me. I don't have a Wii U. I have a Wii, which already got discontinued a long time ago, alongside the 3DS, or the, uh, the DSi and the DS being discontinued back in like 2015, 2016. But I do not have a Wii U, so I'm not 100% sure what major games are on there that are going to be getting affected. If you guys know, let me know in the comments and let everybody know else in the comments down below. But it's kind of, this really bad. Oh, if you guys got to bear with Nintendo, they're a small indie company. They don't have enough money to keep the servers up. I know there's going to be somebody as well as in the comments, or there always is. Oh, bro, why, why would you be mad about this? Why is anybody mad about this? Nobody pl uses online for the Nintendo 3DS or the Wii U games anyways. They're dead consoles. I don't know, last I checked, I, I think the 3DS online is still incredibly active. Just go on Twitch and search out the games for, for both, like, Gen 6 and Gen 7 games. And you'll still find a bunch of people streaming the game and, like, battling and that type of thing online. Same with a lot of other people. Not everybody has a Nintendo Switch. Not everybody is able to afford a brand new console. And over, especially over the last, like, four or five years, the 3DSs and especially the Wii U's have finally started dropping in price to make it actually affordable for the majority of people that don't really have that much money. So a lot of the people that can't really afford, a th the, like, the newer consoles, like the Xbox or... Xbox S or whatever the newer ones is or the PS4, PS5 or even like the new Switch or a Switch or probably the new Switch coming up in like in a year or two from now. A lot of people can't afford those so they're able to only play a lot of stuff like 3DS and Wii U and they are no longer going to be able to have Wi-Fi access after this which sucks for them. So people still do play on those consoles. Just because you don't does not people mean that people do not. Which is not another argument somebody's going to say and I've seen it admit a lot of times already. Just because you ain't using the Wi-Fi and you think there are dead consoles and dead games on those platforms does not mean that people aren't playing them and it's not being used. I don't know. Let me, Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. It's really sad. This is the one thing I, I fucking hate about Nintendo is that they only allow their consoles to have maybe... I think, it was on, I think these have been online for maybe about eight years. I'm not 100% sure the exact amount of time that these servers have been online for the 3DS. Yeah, I think it's around six to eight years. I'm not 100% sure. But if you're buying a physical console and Wi-Fi also comes with that, especially from like Nintendo or like a major corporation, if you're paying the money for the console and you're paying the money for the games, you should be able to have all the features that those games offer, not have them discontinued six to eight years down the line and only have like half a game that you have a bunch of features that are no longer usable just because they're trying to force you to upgrade into a newer console or buy newer stuff. I think that's really fucking stupid. And that's the one fucking thing that a lot of people, especially me, hate about Nintendo. They are always constantly phasing out their old, older consoles with just discontinuing all the, the servers and the Wi-Fi for all their older stuff. They did it in the past, now they're doing it with these two consoles. Like I said, they'll probably do it with the Switch later down the line, three, four years from now. Because the Switch has technically already been around for about six years, so probably another three or four years, and they'll also do this for the Nintendo Switch, and then we'll probably be on to like another Switch 3 at that point, or in something entirely new. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, show some support, would really appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I play a bunch of stuff over here, like Nintendo type stuff. Apex Legends, I played Overwatch 2, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Splatoon 3, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a bunch of other stuff over here. So if any of that interests you guys, feel free to subscribe. I also stream over here two to three times a week, and I also stream once in a while over on Twitch. Apart from that, I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, everybody. Thanks for stopping by.